Almighty God, we, we give you all the, all the grace, Holy Spirit, and we invite you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming. We give you all the glory because you always say, let Jesus alone be seen and glorified. Breathe over your word and give you life. Open the eyes of our spirit and our mind. Lord, blow open the eyes of our spirit and our mind. And let your word, revelation, idea, gain ascendancy to our minds and our spirits. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. This month we have been talking about resolution of wealth. And that's R O R of where that you see there. But today the topic under that will be financial investment. So let's go. I need you guys to run with me. From the Genesis that we read, in case you missed last Sunday, because there are so many of us that are not here last Sunday, and that's understandable. But please pay attention. When God, God created a garden, and before he formed the man, and then before he put the man in the garden, he made a river to flow through the garden. Then at a point, the river divided into four eggs. Number one, we said the river divided into four eggs represent multiple streams of income. You are not supposed to have one. You are supposed to have multiple streams of income. Amen. Number two, we said the first river was Gaia. And what does that mean? The Greek means increase. The word Gaia means increase in Greece. Please pay attention to the four rivers. Number two river is called, no, the first river is Python and it's increased. The second one is, and on that river, the Bible says the gold of that land, it, the, that river went around, you know, the river, the, the place called Avila, and the gold of that land is good. When God told you that the gold is good, believe me, that's the finest quality of gold on the surface of the earth. And he said there was Delium, which was, which is translated fragrance and gum. And it says there is honest, and that is precious stones like diamonds in one side of the river. Look what God was showing the man he created. Money, gold, diamond. When you see flow of river through so, I was telling them, I said that's irrigation. God was teaching him irrigation in farming and multiple things. So many things at the same time before he put him in that garden. This is a conversation I believe between God and the and they have say, look, this one goes through the land of Ireland. The gold in that place is very good. There's that one there. And this one goes like this. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was a conversation. Moses was just privileged to, that God now gave him the video of that conversation and started writing it down thousands of years later. All right, let's go. Because I have a long way to go. Now, second device, guy. And it means busting forth. Pay attention to the first. Increase. The second one, busting forth. Number three river, Tigris, or, or they call it Hideka. It's called rapid. Increase, busting forth, rapid. That's how God expects our progress and our spiritual and our finances to be. But if it's not like that, there's something wrong. There should be increase every time in our life. That increase should be busting forth for people to see. And that will be your testimony for today Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. And it should be rapid, not slow. Number four, the, you, the, the fourth river is you fright, and it's called fruitfulness. Can you imagine that? Fruitfulness. God wants you to be fruitful. He wants me to be fruitful. This is God's plan for men. Before he put him in the garden. Look the preparation he made. Let's go, because of time. Then we talk about difference between rich, the rich and the wealthy. We say, is there, be, is there any difference last week? Because I'm just doing a recap for those people that are not here. You can also take the message of last week. It's about 35 minutes. It's on the YouTube the channel of the please those those are the message you should be watching again and again I, I have not arrived on this thing that i'm teaching you because i told you last time i said the the mathematical method they taught you in high school and in your college the scientific equation did those professors did they develop them you said no but they're teaching you so i didn't develop all this i'm on my journey you can slide me you can say what is this is stupid it's up to you um I, there are no hard feelings for that but if you open your mind and your heart, I believe the Holy Spirit will teach you something. Brethren, there's a difference between the rich and the wealthy. And I said something. I said the rich, they have money to spend. The wealthy don't worry, don't worry about money. That's the difference. Imagine, I want you to imagine what you sit down for once. 
that as you see that all your bills are automated from your account and you don't care when they come out. <laughs> have you imagined that? Your mortgage, if you have one, your rent, your internet, electric, gas, uh, everything. It's just, you go to store to buy anything, just wipe card, you don't check balance. That's where you're supposed to get to. That's where I'm supposed to get to. Whereby you don't check what? Balance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That's when you have reached financial freedom. You don't care about the balance. Once in a while, maybe after three months, let me even check what is there, what's going on there. Because you know that that money will not run out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I said doctors can be counted among the rich because they, have, they collect high salaries, people in IT, but they are not wealthy. The Bible also differentiates between the rich and the wealthy. So Abraham left Egypt, and the Bible said he was rich in cattle and in gold. But the scripture also says, the Bible says in, I think, Proverbs chapter 13, that the world, the prosperous man, lives in many times for his children's children. When we get to wealthy, when we begin to plan for our own children and their children to come, when you are still thinking of yourself, we have not arrived. You are still struggling now to pay your bills. You are not thinking of your own kids, even though you have. Then something is wrong. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. According to Robert Kiyosaki, this is where we're going to start. He said, the number of days you can survive physically, okay, without physically working and still maintain your standard of living. If your expenses is 4,000 per month and you have 12,000 saved somewhere, it means if you, if you, if you, if you keep spending that money, how long will it, will it last? Three months or 90 days, you are done. You then must go to work. This is the reason why 78%, according to Forbes, 78% of Americans live from paycheck to paycheck. People must work. You will agree with me that you must work. It's a, it's a must. But we can get to where we must not work. Praise the Lord. That you now decided whether you want to go or you don't want to go. Some of us cannot leave our job. If our boss should slap us, we say, no problem, sir. <laughs> because you know your next bill will not be paid if you leave. Because you, won't, you don't know where to find another job. Okay. If you have to stop, work tomorrow, or lost your job, how long will you survive? Answer that question yourself. And it tells us where we are. Okay. If you lost your if tomorrow as you get to the say you are fired, don't come again. Would you start crying and say, Well, the good Lord bless you guys? I'll see you on the other side. That's the way we're supposed to get to. So let's go. Next. Let's look at some of the things that we learn from our from our second Bible verse, you know, Bible reading, which is the main for today, I beg you to put all your attention here. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm repeating it and there's a reason. We have not started the journey. The first thing I want you to know there is that the word of God says, cast your bread upon the waters and you will find it after many days. Cast your bread upon the waters and you find that many What's the meaning of that? When you throw your bread on, you, are, you know you are losing it, you are throwing it away. The investment is like that. He said, like, he threw it away. After many days, it will come back to you. Okay, What's the, what does that mean? Number one, take risk. That's what the verse is telling you. Those that don't take risk cannot take charge. And that is it. So someone said, those that cannot take risk cannot make advances. You cannot, if you don't take risk, you will always sit down in comfort zone. Some of us cannot lose one dollar in, in stock. Ask my wife. Few years ago, some I've lost a lot of money. As I, we have lost, I'll say we. She will cut. She was telling me the other day. Oh, I give you one thousand dollars for that investment. I say it's lost. So that's it. If you don't take risk, what is the definition of success? Moving from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. It is better to fail in something than to prosper in nothing. Let people know that you fail at trying to build a business that you did not succeed in nothing. It's a waste of your life and destiny. Number two, give a portion to seven and to eight. What's that telling you? The word of God is telling you, number one, learn from there. Diversify your income and your investment portfolio. That's the meaning of that. Number two, there are three, there are eight types of income. Give a portion to seven or eight. I never knew it was in the Bible. Eight streams of income. That's the way you give a portion to seven or eight. Diversify your income and portfolio investment. And then it says, 
there are eight types of income. Number four then, that's fast forward, fast forward since never time the market. said, don't, either observe the wind, will not sow. What's the meaning of that? Don't time the market. When you want to buy stock market, buy when you have the money. Don't care whether it goes up or Please, if you don't take anything, away, take that. Somebody was asking me, oh, you bought uh, Bitcoin the other day. It's very high now. I said, I don't time the market. I just buy. Today is high. Tomorrow will be low. If you time the market, you will never buy. The word, the word of God says, if you either observe the wind, will not, will not sow. As you don't know how spirit enter the body of the woman that is pregnant, do you know how the spirit enter the body? No. So just do it. Okay? Never time the market and make your investment a daily thing. One of the things I've learned in my life, I've never learned in 40 years. I'm over 40. That I've learned a few years ago is that investment should be done like you brush your teeth. What does that mean? Every day. One dollar here today, 50 cents tomorrow. Make sure you do something every day. It will compound over time. There's always a law called compound interest. It's very powerful. It works spiritually and physically. You don't get everything in prayer. God allows you to pray sometimes, again and again, and it compounds. The Bible says when the clouds are full, they empty themselves upon the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The law of compound interest, compound effect. Okay, let's read this. No, no, you don't go yet. How many of us have read this from RSV, Levi Standard Version? That same verse that, I, that we read. It's not clear on the screen. Let me read it. In Ecclesiastes 6, chapter 11. Invest your money in foreign trade. Pay attention. And one of these days, you will make a profit. Put your investment in several places. Many, many places. In fact, because you never know what kind of bad luck you are going, you are going to have in this world. We have seen one right now, pandemic. No matter in which direction a tree falling, it, there, let me just leave it there. Another scripture is explaining it to you perfectly. Let's go to the next level. I hope the Lord will help me and I'll be able to finish this today. Are we together? Okay. Eight streams of income. Number one. Can I have it, everybody? Don't worry. The slide will be free. I'll send the slide to, the, to everybody. That If you want the slide, I'll, I'll send it to you for free. You don't have to pay. Next. Can we mention this one after the other because of my time? Number one. Earn income. What's that? Working on a job. That is what almost everybody in the world does. We have nothingness. Only one out of eight. Just to work and collect money. Now, the problem with that, number one, is that it is the most taxed, even here in the United States. 40 to 50% of your taxes go in, in that area. How? You will ask me, go and file your tax, you'll find out. And again, the little that remain after you file your tax, you go to buy gas, you pay tax. You buy anything, you pay tax. You buy shoe, you pay tax. Everything. At the end of the way, you compound everything about. For every one dollar you make, you give 50% to the government. You are actually working for them. That's number one. Number two, the problem with that is that you will never have all the strength to work all your life. You will reach at a particular age, you will not be able to work anymore. So what will happen? When you must go to work to pay your bills. And income. Number two, portfolio income. Income comes from buying and selling stuff. Like when you start a business, a small business. That's portfolio income. Number three, interest income. When you lend money and get interest. Please understand that the Bible does not support that you lend money to your brothers in the church and collect interest. But here in the United States, there are companies like Lending Club. They allow you to put $1,000, $2,000, and then they pay you interest every month. You have nothing to worry. You don't need to carry anything. You can reach out to Lending Club tomorrow and say, you know what, I have $2,000 I'm giving to you. They will even ask you how much do you want to be borrowing to people. You say maximum of $200 a person. I don't want my money to waste. You can say $20 a person. They will put it into another money or somebody's money and they will pay you interest like that. You don't have to do nothing. Number four, residual income. When you continue to get paid after your work is done, like you put a course online. Hello? That's an example. Number five, dividend income comes from stocks and bonds. You buy those things and they appreciate. I will show you something. Residual income, rental income, when you buy property and you rent it out. 
Number seven, capital gains. When you buy a stock and it appreciates in value. You bought the stock at $1, now it's value at 4 That's That's not profit. That's appreciation. Capital gains. Number five, royalty income. Income that work from somebody using your ideas and they begin to pay you. Time will not permit us to break all this, but just follow me. Now, let us not forget this guy. Never depend on a single income, Warren Buffett. If nothing goes wrong with you, let that sink in. If you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will walk till you die. If you don't find a way to make money while you are sleeping, you will walk till you die. It's not a cause. It's a fact. What's your backup plan? In case you can no longer work tomorrow. Next. L19 gave statistics. Pay attention because this will change your life. The first day I had this, for days I was meditating and said, oh my God, I've never had it before. I listened to one of his, uh, his, his presentation. They said it, one of the greatest uh, financial intelligence um, video that's ever produced, and I will agree it's true. It's about 37 minutes. Now, and I think they said, if you take 100 boys and girls today and start them at age 25 on the same plane level, at the same job, the same career, the same college degrees, 200 boys and girls, pay attention, and you start them today, start job today, all of you 100, you have the same degree, you start at the same level. He said 65, at age 65, from 25 to 65, how many years is that, everybody? 40 years later. At 65, why would you pick 65? 65 is the age of retirement in the United States and many years, so pay attention. At age 65, one of them will be rich and financially free. Four will be financially secure, at least. They are doing some job, but they are okay. 36 will be dead. Five will still be working. And 54 will be flat broke. That is more than half of the people that started working at that age. It's true. Now, the only people that are secure here, these four and this one, meaning only 5% of men will reach financial freedom at the age of 65. Don't be among the 95. It will be a choice for you, for you to make. I have said before you life and death, prosperity and success, heaven and hell. The word of God says make a choice. All you need is a choice. Don't worry, make a choice first. The plan will come later. How you to get there? I made a choice I was going to take. We're going to take a vacation to Chicago. The plan came later. So make a choice first. Praise the Lord. Next. Yeah. Let's go. All right. As a family, would you please say, uh, let's, let's give all this to everybody. One person. Please take one of these per person. I will tell you what you're going to do. One per person. Make sure you pick one. And this one, I didn't copy from anywhere. That's a divine inspiration, so pay attention to it. Take the total number of the apps on your phone. Write it where you have total T. Write it out. The total number, please. Count all the number of the apps on your phone now, please. Please. The number of apps on your phone. Including the factory ones, right? Yes. Um, no, man, you can do everything, everything. So, so, so there's no confusion. Just to tie everything. It's very easy. Put the number where you have it. Pastor, can I have one, sir? Now, the first question I want to ask you, I want you to answer here. Number one question. Which one would you pick? One million today, one million dollars today, be honest. Or, I give you 10 cents every day for the next 41 days. Double do. Every day. Which one would you pick? Just 10 cents. And I double every day. But after 41 days, I'll stop. Or I give you one million dollar cash. Saku or Mark, the one you will pick. <laughs> and we will see how wise some of us are today. If you will pick the other one, because I'm giving you the other, we will see how wise you are. Go ahead, pick one. All right, number two. You didn't see where you have total T. Ah. Total number of apps. Guys, pay attention to me. Look here. Look here. Total number of apps here. Yeah. Now, you will now count the apps that are social media, Facebook, all your emails, and all those stuff. Count them and put the number here in front. That's SM. Okay. The total number of that. 
Then SM over T means that number divided by the total you have. And then put, multiply by 100 and put it in front of percentage. That's mathematics we are doing here. Please do everything like that. Number of social media, informative or learning app. Those are apps like that can, I can teach you something. One I have on my phone called Masterclass. If you don't have it, put zero. Investment app. Credit card apps. Just total them like that. Always divided by total, multiply by 100 in front and right. We have only three minutes to do that exercise. Income hubs. The guys, hold on. Income hub, if you have the Airbnb, that's an income. If you, are, if you have active door dash, that's income. If you have active Instacart, that's income. I mean active. Now you are working with it now. Not just because it's sitting on your phone. You are working with it once in a while. At least. Those are income apps. They make income for you. You said saving. That, that's not saving. If you have a bank account, we have, we have savings. That's, you can put that there as saving app. You can't it as one. If the savings are in two, you can go to. Investment app are not savings. You have like WhatsApp, you invest somewhere, Weibo, uh, Robinhood, those ones are invest. M1, those ones are investment apps. Please don't count investment and saving as the same. They are not. If you don't have the saving anywhere, like you put money somewhere that is just sitting there saving, then put zero there. Um, guys, I you have about two minutes more. We have to run up because we are our journey is very far. Are you guys feeling heat here? Can, uh, please, can we have this door open? We are not in there. This is the, things are getting too hot here. Maybe some of us are on us seat. You never can tell. Thank you, praise God bless. Thank you so much. By now we should be done. Okay, you said one more minute. Dr. Vida, you are in statistics, you should have been done. <laughs> Pray, Richie, you are the mathematician. I'm done, but I just want to the first question. <laughs> you are thinking about it? Yes. Great. <laughs> Let's try one minute to many 30 seconds, please. All right, we're done. Thank you, guys. Everybody, it's okay. We can, you can also, you know, take this, you can take a screenshot of that, and, or take the original one, but I need a copy of that. Now, listen, everyone. The first question, can we have, can we pay attention, everyone, please? The first question, what was your answer? Felix. I chose number one. Good. Hopefully, if you get the one million dollar, you have you know what to do with it. Yes. Yeah, but let's go down so that we can find out if you know. That's a good choice. Any other person that picks anything different? Mawakala shows the second one. Why? Ten cents. Makaila. Why? Why? Why are you doing this? I don't know why. Okay. All right. Let's let's be on the same page. Does it mean that everybody shows number one? No. Yeah, I chose number one. You chose the second one. Why? My wife chose the second one as well. Why? Hey guys, 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 guys. There, there's no noise here, please. Yeah? Okay. 
the reason why I chose number one is because from what I've learned in class. <laughs> 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 Something called time value of money. Mm -hmm. It means a dollar today is worth a dollar tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if I have 10 million today, actually it's one. Hey, I mean, one million today mm -hmm. is worth more than having 10 cents today. Okay. Because I can invest in that one million today. Cool. God bless you, sir. That's a good question. All right. So for the people that pick number one, how many of us pick number one? Raise up your hand. So the majority. Okay. How many of us pick number two? My wife and uh, MJ, have you changed your mind? Oh, you did. Only two people. My Kyla, you did number two. Put your hands up, right? Okay, guys, only three people. Let me tell you. You pick number two. When you say double, you mean today 10 cents, tomorrow 20 cents. Correct. Next tomorrow 40 cents, then 80. Yeah. Yeah. For one day. Correct. All right, guys. Everybody, listen to me. The people that pick one million dollar, you did not make a wise decision. Everyone, please, yeah. guys. You you will lose the information I'm giving to you. You will lose the information I'm giving to you if you don't listen. If you pick one million, you are you made a bad choice. I can guarantee you. Now, ten cents and don't put every day. Series formula for series is S N equals one one plus R raised to the power N. Am I correct? Yeah. And N is ten cent. No, first term is ten cent. N is forty one. Now the series is two. The rate at which you increase. Come and compound that thing. He has to about almost ten million dollars after forty one. No, do the calculation. Why am I having trouble controlling this guy? Guys, don't worry because of time. I will send you the answer on the WhatsApp. That will help you. Because you said, no, no, please, can we, can we all pay attention, please? Leave everything, don't worry. Don't argue about it, but I've just told you the truth. Don't argue. Now, let's move on. We will not use this compound interest calculator because I don't want to miss more, make more time now. 21 steps to take now to prepare for the future and be financially free. Pay attention to these 21 steps. <laughs> Number one, change your mindset. One of the reasons why people will remain poor is because their mindset is poor. Money, you need money to make money. Is one proverb we go from, from Africa. If you have that mindset, you will never have attain financial prosperity. That you need money to make money. It's not true. Money don't go on trees. That's crazy. <laughs> Brethren, all those things have to be jettisoned. Throw them away. Now, how, there are only about two ways you can change. It can be more. You'll find your mindset. One, when you pray and ask the Holy Spirit to, to help you change your mindset. Even at that, number two, which is the most important one, you must read. There is no something for knowledge in changing mindset. Whether Bible, whether you know, spiritual book, whether financi fin uh, finances, book on finances and leadership, you just have to read it. I put here, read, 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 read. There are three kinds of education. There is formal education, informal, and non-formal. Most of the time when we go to school, what do we get from there? Formal. formal. Brethren, financial intelligence is not taught in school because it's not a formal education. You have to teach yourself. We don't get that straight. You, you can have 10 PhD and you will see me broke mm -hmm. if you did not learn financial intelligence. If you did not train yourself alone, it's not school. School will not make you rich. It will give you a certificate. Great. There are jobs that you must go to school to get. For instance, you want to be a doctor, you must go to school. You want to be an accountant, you must go to school. Nobody will give you to go and come, come and audit their account if they know you never went to school. That's madness. Those are jobs that are required. But most of the jobs that we do, they are not required to go to school. We just wasted our time in college and got so much debt when we left. Now, number two. I wrote here, those that don't read are not better than those that cannot read. You are in the same class. Those that don't read are not better than those that cannot read. You are in the, you are in the same class. Number two, start a side hustle. You can start a YouTube channel, a, you, a, any small business, Airbnb, and online courses. Do you know what is called Viva? This. Have you heard about Viva? All you need to do, to, all you need to do on Viva is to edit. Edit video. Documents and you know 
Like my wife does editing of YouTube, and people pay you sometimes $25, $50 an hour for editing videos for them. You just put it there. You just pick it up and do it. You get paid. Postmark. You buy, you put some, some stuff to sell, to sell there. eBay, you can sell stuff there. Amazon, for free by Amazon. Okay, Walmart, Walmart is not having a, Walmart automation. You can register with some company, they list your products on all the Walmarts. You don't even have to leave your house. You just go and buy the product and put the picture on and put it there. And Walmart will be selling it for you and sending you returns. They started their own and it's going to be bigger than Amazon. Walmart automation, that's it. Google it, Walmart automation. There are people that are now list. They are asking for everybody to register now. Do it now before it's, you know, it, it gets clogged clog up. Don't dash in stack. Number three, you need information. Many of us don't know that. You know, we like to use old method in the new era. Hello? Please, everybody, can we pay attention? Old method, we use it in new era. We have been in the dark age. There are different ages before. Is that correct, Prof? Industrial age. People work, and we are still using industrial age. Which, which age are we now? Who knows? Martin? Huh? Information. information age. What does that mean? What we sell is information. Many of us are still working with industrial age, going to industry to work and work on jobs, like in cotton, leather, leather company in those days. This is not industrial age. This is information age. Find an information to sell. This is not industrial age. This is information age. Find an information to sell. Something you know. Maybe how to cook. I was talking to a, a beautiful sister. She had natural hair. This much. She's a person of color. Because I don't see, there are no black people. They are only people of color. And there are no white people, they are only Caucasians. She is a person of color. Her hair can reach hair. And it's natural. I said, Jesus, Lord have mercy. This is natural. And you don't have a YouTube channel. Whereby you teach people how to grow that hair, tomorrow you come and put Vaseline and say, this is how to put Vaseline on it. I see they don't know. <laughs> I'm telling somebody who watched that video. This is, another, uh, this is another something that I discovered you can add to your hair. You are doing it. Somebody who watched that video. I see some of those crazy videos. They have 20 million, 25 million views. Do you know how much that is? Brendan, do something. This is not industrial age. Don't try to work all your life. This is information age. Sell and information. <coughs> Number three. Okay, we are, we, we are done with our online stuff. Let's just go. Because of, you know. Number four. Aggressive saving. Brethren, learn to save. One dollar today, two dollars tomorrow. Save is also is good. You should have some cash somewhere in your house. Not in the bank. Like, even if it's five hundred dollars, one thousand dollars, keep it cash. Something can happen, you will not be able to use bank. So that you can survive. Have cash somewhere. You might not be able to do that in Africa, but in America, at least, you can sleep with your two eyes closed by God's grace. So have cash somewhere. Savings is very important. Open a saving account in back and set up, you know. Don't, make sure you don't set up automatic withdrawal. You do automatic withdrawal from some account into that account. Sometimes you can't do it, you don't automate it. Automate it, that's when I began to save. One day I saw my saving account one time, it was $2,000. I said, oh my God, I've never saved this kind of much, this much in my life in America. Because I was thinking I cannot do it. But I made it $50, $50 every week. And sometimes when I check the bank, it was over 2000 I say, wow. So this could happen. But before, I would never be able to. Because once the money comes in, it's gone into the bills. But when I automate it, you can automate by calling Capital One 360. You open that account, you automate that. It takes it from your PNC or the other, or, or your American, uh, Amer uh, Bank of America account, and transfer $50 every month. $10 every week. Ten, no, $20, whatever. Put it something there. OK? Number five. Open a high yield saving account. This is not the best, but at least you can open a high yield. Some of them are out there. If you Google I, the best high yield saving account of 2021, they will come up. Open something. You can put that savings there. They are high yield account. Number, let's go up. Let's go up. I, I have a, lot of, a long way to go. Index fund and companies in the individual fund. What are index fund? Index fund, pay attention. Please, pay attention. Because some of us don't know. We pretend we know, but we actually don't know. Index fund is, is, is a stock. 
But in this time, there are.